But Vesser, the Horde is so powerful and so many, and we are few. That is why we must band together, not just here in Galebreath, but all over Etheria. We are no match for their science. We are simple peasants and farmers. If we challenge the Horde, they'll destroy our village and make slaves of all our people. There are people resisting the Horde all over Etheria, and they are not slaves. It can be done, Theron. Time after time, we have stood up to the Horde and won. The reason the Horde is still in power is that we are just a handful of people. We need your help. Horde, this is Imp. Are you getting all this? Yes. <laughs> And the smooth tongues of those rebels will have everyone under their spell. If there was only a way I could silence them. I have a very thing, Ordak. May I use Mantena? Take him. I have no use for him. Mm, not me, your business. Let me go get someone from the dungeons. Uh... Mantena! Stay here. What do you want him to do? Just talk, Mantena. Put his voice into my bubble. Louder, Mantena, I can't hear you. Oh, listen, mighty one. You've locked up his voice? Good work, Shadow Weaver. Now if you can do the same to those annoying villagers. Hordak, if you plan carefully, you might even capture the main voice of the rebels. Adora? Adora! <laughs> We're almost to the village of Galebreath. I don't understand why the townspeople want to hear me talk. Because you're the leader of the rebellion. Well, still, it's it's very strange. No one has ever asked me to speak before. The rebels of the village feel you will inspire others to join. You certainly inspire me. Why, thank you, Bo. This place is creepy. Not safe like Whispering Woods. I bet horde patrols are everywhere. You're not afraid, are you, Sprint? I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> Not much, you aren't. Why, I'm so brave, people come from all over to hear my tales of daring. Yay, yeah, everyone likes a good laugh. If there was a horde trooper behind that tree, well, I'd show him. Yay! What is it? It's, it's, it's... Uh, <laughs> what is it, Frey One? <laughs> your shadow? <laughs> a horde trooper! This time, Adora, you cannot escape! How does it feel being wrong so often, Scorpia? Get them! Too many hordesmen. We need She-Ra. Hi, fellas. Wanna dance? I sing, but this time I'll swing. Let me go! Are you sure you want me to let you go? No, don't let me go! Now stay right here. Don't leave me! Help! Get me down from here! I, I don't like this! Here I am, Scorpia. Shira! You will feel my sting for your interference! <laughs> What happened? I'm so 
Susie! You just hang out there for a while. She-Ra, what happened to Adora? She's safe. Where is Brendan Sprague? They're all right. Uh-oh. The troopers are coming back to look for us. You go on ahead. I'll take care of them. Adora, you missed all the fun. Well, I knew you could handle things. Well, I didn't do it all. She-Ra came by and gave me a, a little help. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure she appreciated it. Come on, Bo. The villagers are waiting. They broke through our trap. I must go to the village myself. I'll steal those rebels' voices and bring them to you. Bring Adora! I want Adora! To the village of Gale Braith, with the speed of lightning! Of course there is risk. Lesser knows that, but he's willing to join us. It is worth the risks, if we're going to be free. Shira is needed right away. So, fools of Galebreath, you thought you would join the rebellion? Well, you will pay dearly for speaking out against the Horde. Come darkness, come trouble, put each voice into a bubble! box for all these voice bubbles. One bubble box coming up. Inside, my little pearls. And now for Adora. Where is she? Tell me, where? Oh, you can't tell me anything without your voices, can you? Well, never mind. I'll find her myself. Oh, you're here, Adora. Come out. Hodak is anxious to see you again. And so am I. Adora, I am losing my patience. Where are you? Must I use a spell to find you? Aha! Come, Adora. Take my hand. And we shall be in the fright zone in an instant. Stand back! Rebel fools! You should have run far from here. Now it's too late. It's never too late to smoke out evil. One smoke arrow coming up. A magician's trick won't save you. This way, quickly! You shall feel Shadow Weaver's wrath. Winds of darkness, hear and obey. Blow this rebel smoke away! They're gone! They've all escaped! No fooling. You know, for a smart sorceress, you sure let those rebels make a fool of you. <laughs> How would you like to stay a box forever? How would you like me to tell Hordak that you were mean to me? Oh, well, 
let's just forget it. Adora, you may have escaped this time, but I still have your voice. We will see each other again soon. Very soon. We, uh, we have to go somewhere? Your teeth, mouth, voice. To get the voices back. Well, sure, but where? To the Fright Zone. I think they want to go to the Fright Zone, too. It looks like they all want to be rebels now. We appreciate it, but I think Adora and I would stand a better chance alone. Well, we'll stay here until you return. I brought you the rebel voices, mighty one. But you did not bring me Adora. I have her voice. I don't want her voice. I want Adora. Ah, I should never rely on sorcery. That's what I hated about Skeletor. Science, machinery, these I can count on. But do not underestimate my powers, Hordak. The magics of darkness are vast. It was the Horde who gave you those powers. And they can be taken back quite easily. Do not make me angry, Shadow Weaver. No! Now, are we clear on just who is in power here? Oh, yes, mighty Hordak, you are. That's better. <sighs> Thank you. I owe everything to the Horde. Of course. You were nothing but a second-rate sorceress from Mysticor when I found you. But enough about that. Mantena! Do you want your voice back, worm? Answer me! My voice is back! <coughs> Thank you, Hard Dad. Thank you, Great One. Oh, you're welcome. I just love doing that. This is a tough one. It's one word. You want me to... What? Fan Hordak? An explosion? Oh, I get it. I make some noise while you try to get the voices back. And I have just the arrow for it. What do you wish me to do about the people of Galebraith, Hordak? We must make an example of them. Here's what we'll do. What? What's that? A box of voices. Oh, it's gone. Time for a grand exit. <laughs> What's going on? Oh no, a rebel spy! I'll take care of him! No, this one is mine! This box acts as if it's alive! Aha! Uh -huh. If it isn't him! Let me go! Let me go! I'll show you! I'll change back! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell Hordak on you! You'll be sorry! How can I tell which one is my voice? We are no match for their science. For the honor of... At last, I can speak! For the honor of Grayskull! Rebel! 
run out of trick arrows? If you'll excuse me, Hordak, it's time Bo and I were leaving. Shira, you again! You won't escape me this time! Some people just don't know when the party's over. The party has just begun! <laughs> Impolite to leave without shaking hands. That's the way, Shira. Perhaps you would like to shake my hand. Shira, look out! You missed me. You're a poor shot, Rebel. I wasn't aiming at you. Bo, round up the voice bubbles. We must get them back to the villagers. All right. Uh, what about Adora? She's fine. Just get those bubbles. Right. I can't. Get free. I, I'm stuck. Wait, I'll change my shape. Ready to play some more? I'm through playing with you. That was foolish. You should have jumped away from me. And missed the chance to boost your spirits? Whoa! No, no, now I'm stuck here. Well, I can really look up to you now, Hordak. We'll see about that. Another way of dealing with you, but for now. Right zone, farewell? Yes, by all means. Let's be on our way. for bringing my voice back to me, Adora. Count me in for the rebellion. What do you say, Barris? I say long live the rebellion. Hey, Listen, Adora. I think even Hordak can hear them. Yeah. 